My name is Angela Gleidman. I manage the Caring for Capacity project, a Victorian government funded large scale river restoration project. The Capacity River starts on the Great Dividing Range near Ashbourne and flows 250 kilometres to the Murray River at Achuka. Its waters connect the neighbouring clans of Tungarung, Yorta Yorta and Jajarung people. We acknowledge their rights and interests as traditional owners of the river and acknowledge their elders, past, present and emerging. I've been involved in this three day canoe trip with uh, the traditional owners of the Campaspe River, uh, which was about bringing together the traditional owners of the river, um, sharing their connection to country, sharing their stories um, and meeting each other, spending time on the river together and sharing knowledge. Also, with, um, we've had geologists and fish biologists, North Central CMA staff that deliver environmental flows. So what we were hoping to do with the event was bring everyone together to share that knowledge. It's really been really great over the last few days to have members of the Jajarung, Tungarung and Yorta Yorta community out with us, um, building those relationships between uh, environmental managers um, and traditional owners. Um, learning from each other about what's going on on the river and hopefully building those relationships so that we can do more work together in the future. Just today for me uh, was all about getting to um, see what CMA actually does with the Compaspi, better understanding environmental flows um, and seeing all the traditional owners come together and share their knowledge. Over the last three days we've been on a bit of an excursion along the waterfronts um, learning a little bit more about water health and riverbanks and vegetation and whatever's in the water, the biodiversity as well and the impact of um, population as well on the river systems and farming and working together with government organisations to try and um, mend some of the issues that have happened over the years. Because I live in the city, it's welcoming. It, it is really welcoming. It's really good to be surrounded by the bush. It's, um, it's like you're blocked off from city living um, and there's so many things that are different which are the sounds, the sights um, and it's just um, really relaxing and yesterday on the canoes that was really good because we, you know, we actually stopped rowing because it just felt good just to drift along and it, it's like you were in a special place. Yeah. Uh, the canoe trip, yeah, is pretty dilly. Yeah, mad as. Coming down the Campaspe there, seeing all the, um, the big hollows and all the old trees that didn't get de-snagged out of there like all the other rivers. This was a, a really treat, treat for me. Um, I enjoyed it, we both enjoyed it. I, now I realise there's more to it, culture, than anything else. And to me, we have to keep this culture going because if we don't, it's got, we've got to lose it. Unfortunately, we are. And what, what I've seen today, it'll keep going. I'm sure it will, yeah. Um, I think the sharing of conversations um, and having that flexibility and the time to be able to discuss and talk about ideas and thoughts um, in a more free or open manner than what we would have had to do if we were sitting in a meeting and trying to discuss those things where it gets a little bit too rushed and crushy. Um, so it was more freedom of speech to say and feel how you um, felt about because we're actually in the environment which made a different impact on how you were thinking. It's just powerful just being out on country, walking around and you know, looking after the land and having them ancestors walking around with us just give us that extra power and pride just to pass on their knowledge that they've had for thousands of years. Make the family proud. Yeah. I'm 62, I'm 63 and, and you know, to learn these things about my culture you know, at this age, you know, it just shows that, you know, that uh, a lot of Aboriginal people, um, they don't have this information. So the people, and, you know, that run the rivers and, and that, you know, uh, they are so lucky. But what they're doing, they're sharing their stories and they're inviting us, you know, into their lives. And as we say, that, that cruise, 
and was just so blissful. Friendship, new mobs, new friend, new friend, that's what I'm taking, and most of all, I'm taking away some culture, good culture.